Hey, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta bring that shit back. It's good to have you with us. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Golden Baby channel. Today, I'm coming at you guys with an update on the whole Megan Thee Stallion and Partisan Fontaine thing. Now, if you did not know, Megan Thee Stallion and Partisan Fontaine are dating and have been since at least December. And I did talk about what happened in my live stream, but I had to take it down. So I'm going to go over what happened really quickly. So Megan's birthday was Monday on the 15th of February, and one of her friends was on live. In the background of the live stream, you can hear Party getting mad or upset with Megan because she's locked in the bathroom with a couple of her other friends and he's like beating and banging on the door and it sounds like he beats the door down but it doesn't show that per se so we don't really know but I'm gonna let you guys see the clip here no bullshit, come, no, I don't, I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Tell me to come to the door. Girl, y'all got five seconds before I come through this shit. Come to the door. Now, if you don't know who Partisan Fontaine is, he is a rapper and a writer. He did have that song called Backing It Up with Cardi B that was very popular. And he also is Cardi B's quote unquote ghost writer, which is really not a ghost writer if we know who he is. But he does write a lot of music for Cardi. He wrote a lot of music for her Invasion of Privacy album. And he has credits on her newest single, Up. So now y'all are caught up with who he is because I know some of y'all don't know. But anyways, the whole thing in the background that live got Megan's fans really heated because Megan has really been through a lot of stuff publicly from losing her mom and grandmother to her issues with her label to just fame and then the whole thing with Tori just happened in July. It hasn't even been a whole year. So of course people are going to be concerned. Then shortly after that happened, Megan tweeted about how her life is going good, how she's loved by a lot of people including Beyonce and including her boo even though he's mad at her then she went on live and she asked her hotties to go and spam party's comments to ask him to forgive her which I don't know why she asked her hotties to do that because they already think that he done busted down the door and I don't know if he did or not, okay? But that's what they believed at the time. So it's just like, girl, why are you asking them to go and ask him for forgiveness for you? Megan Thee Stallion, the block is still hot when it comes to you right now, Miss Ma'am. I'm gonna need you to think about that. But anyways, Megan went live a few hours ago and she admitted to dating Partisan Fontaine and she spoke very highly of him about how he's so perfect and she's just really gushing over this man in this whole live stream. Now the live is lagging and choppy, but it's not me, it's Megan's Wi-Fi. But I'm gonna go ahead and insert it here. But I don't, I don't be liking some of the stuff like on the internet. Like I did not like how everybody, not even everybody, people don't be knowing what the hell they are talking about and they just be saying anything. I didn't like what they were trying to say about Park. Cause he is so calm and so sweet. And very, you know. <laughs> That's my boo. <laughs> and I really like him. He is fine. He's too fine. And he big, I like that. But no, he is so perfect, and he would never do anything to hurt me. He's a piece of chocolate. <laughs> he is. Y'all cannot be playing with people in real life like that. <laughs> no, I'm acting like a simp. No, I never said hot girls couldn't have boyfriends. 
All right, y'all, I'm going to end it right there with that Drake music, but she didn't say nothing else for real. So I guess Megan and Party are a thing now. I know a lot of people think that she needs to sit down and just wait it out a little while longer with everything that's happened. But at the end of the day, Megan is a grown woman and can do what she wants to do. I want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you think that it sounded like he was being violent in the background of that live stream? Or do you think it's not that big of a deal? And do you consider that just being turned up with your man while y'all having a good night? Let me know your opinions down below. and I'm going to see y'all in my next video.